I just love the fact that my home has wheels and can take me so many beautiful places. And I can be sitting here on a cold morning, fog rising over this beautiful lake. You can barely see the tips of mountains and the birds are stirring and swimming and flying around the lake. And here I am, cozy, drinking my coffee. I just had a great sleep. I feel so at home. It's gonna be a good day. Cheers. I love starting my day with a walk in the early morning. It's so quiet and peaceful, and you just get to hear all the sounds of the world waking up. It's one of my favorite times of the day, the early morning. This is such a beautiful sight. There's still a lot of ice covering the lake and there's a few holes and the birds have kind of made their way into those holes and are like swimming a bit and like bathing and flicking their wings and just, wow. All the different songs of the birds filling my ears. It's just music, <laughs> nature's music. Good morning, birds. Good morning, mountains. Good morning, lake. Good morning, Luchi. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Do you guys see Tawanda in the distance? How cute is that? Also, how epic is this camp spot? This is, this is a million dollar view. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> My heart is so full. I love this place. <laughs> the beauty is just breathtaking. Literally, like, <sighs> I'm adding my own harmony to the bird song. Another part of my morning routine is to clean up my tiny home and get it ready for the day. As you can see, I've got a mess of dishes and it's pretty chilly out. 
I don't have hot water on demand, so I am heating up a kettle of hot water to do my dishes. That's life off grid for you. <laughs> you find a way. I typically make my own salad dressing from scratch, but I grew up on Hidden Valley Ranch, and when I saw that they're now making a plant-based version, I had to try it. For nostalgia's sake. <laughs> and I gotta say, it's pretty good. <laughs> Lunch with a view. <sighs> now this is dining al fresco. <laughs> <sighs> This location is a wildlife, or should I say wild bird viewing hotspot. Wow, the lake is attracting so many different kinds of birds. There are literally flocks of them out on the lake. This is a perfect opportunity. I'm gonna grab my telephoto lens and see if I can't snap a few photos. This is so cool. <laughs> ah, I love uh, I love to shoot wildlife. <laughs> this is the only way I'll do it. <laughs> wow. Look at these two. There's some sort of pelican right here. You're beautiful. You're cute. You're gorgeous. the life, huh? Get much better? <laughs> that is beautiful in front of the snow. Cap Mountain Range. Oh my gosh. Work it. Work it, Pelican. I feel like I'm literally in an episode of National Geographic right now. Hire me. <laughs> I'm shooting an episode of National Geographic. Hire me. That was so much fun and I'm feeling really inspired. I think it's time to set up my art studio. <laughs>
even though I live super tiny, I mean, I'm talking about this is 80 square feet of living space. Making art is really important to me, and so I made it a priority to have space in here to create. I have been getting into painting tiny things. <laughs> I live in a tiny space, I paint tiny things. Um, so that, that does help a bit, but, um, but I've painted bigger canvases in here. I mean, you just make it work. I have various areas throughout the van where I store both supplies and finished paintings. Luckily, I'm not holding onto the finished paintings for very long because I am selling them on my shop online. So everything you see here is for sale. <laughs> Purchasing my art helps me continue to make art, buy more supplies and commit more time to doing it. And it also, you know, allows me to keep living this way. I'm really thankful to everybody out there buying my art and keeping me inspired. <sighs> okay. Life on the road, waking up to new landscapes, looking at my window and it's always changing. And it's so freaking beautiful, especially right now just gives me so much inspiration. I, I gotta do something with all this inspiration. I just have to. You know, I have this innate need to create. So whether it be painting, photography, you know, baking, cooking, dancing, I mean, I, I need to do it all. It just, it just bursts out of me, you know? So I'm very grateful to be living a life that inspires me constantly. It fuels all of this. And that just makes me so happy. This was an amazing creative session for me. I had a lot of fun and I made some cool little things. Um, not entirely finished yet, but obviously this one's inspired by this gorgeous landscape. And then I started listening to this documentary about um, just how we're all connected and, you know, about intelligent life across the universe and the possibilities of connecting with those beings and connecting with other people and teleportation and the stars. So this one kind of came from that. This one also kind of relates to that, you know, little crescent moon in the place where her third eye would be just about this awareness and visions that can come from really tapping into divine within. This little guy's about infinite love. Love is boundless and doesn't have limitations. These little guys, these two, are magnets. So you can just stick them on your fridge. Fridge art. <laughs> when I saw the canvases with the magnets on the back, I just thought that was pretty cool. So, And they're little. They don't take up a lot of space in my tiny little studio. <laughs> and then I've got... This one, which is kind of like the beams of light are emanating from this figure in meditation. So that's what I've been working on. I got a few others primed up. I tend to kind of sit hunched over, like especially on these little details. And, uh, oof, my back needs a break. <laughs> I wish I had that massage gun right about now. It's time to go stretch it out.
That felt so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried that interpretive dancing in a beautiful landscape like this? Wow. It just feels so good just to move the body and not care really what it looks like. Just feel. Feel the movement and go with it. They say dance like nobody's watching. But in my case, you're all watching. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope I didn't embarrass myself too much. I love to dance. <laughs> I challenge you, put on your favorite song and just feel the movement. Just move, let your body do whatever it wants. It's such a good release. Just you and me, buddy. Act as silly. Doing what we love. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Mm. A delicious and nutritious dinner to end the day. I can't think of anything better. Mm. With the most amazing view and the sound of the birds. The sun is set. What a day. What an amazing day. Thanks for joining me. Coming in for another shot, huh? Pelican? I... Pelican, take this photo. <laughs> These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!